Hello. Yes. That's where you should be, Nick Griffin, in the European Parliament, helping your fellow nationalist populists in building the new anti-immigrant bloc within the European Parliament, ready for a coup d'etat staged by Viktor Orban and co of Hungary. But instead, where are you? You're in a lunatic fringe, hope not hate playpen, the enemy somehow has lured you into, you seem incapable, or you don't want to, of getting out of it, I don't know. I mean, I don't think you realise how embarrassing you are. I mean, Mike McLaughlin, Michael Walsh, wrote the book, Europe Arise. I mean, when you were chairman of the BNP, you wouldn't have given him the time of day, would you? You know you wouldn't have done. Alison Shablos, you wouldn't have lent support to her. She's either a complete screwball, or she works for Hope Not Hate. Either way, you wouldn't have given either of them two individuals the time of day. So look how far you have fell. I'll show you how far you fell, right? You were right up there, a big hitter, at the establishment, terrified. And you fell so far now, right into a lunatic fringe, hope not hate, playpen. I mean, this is breathtaking. It's bewildering. That's the word, bewildering, right? I can't get my head around this sometimes. I really, really can't. When I accompanied you around the country, Nick, looking after you, right, I wasn't only there to stop people attacking you. I was there to give you good advice. I was a good man looking after you. I looked out for your interests. Once I left, then what happened? All the spies got in, all giving you bad advice and whatever, and the rest is history, you know. So you've got to get yourself now. You've got to... I know it's hard because you're in a terrible dilemma. You've put yourself in this corner and you're probably thinking, how am I going to get out of it? Well, you just walk away. That's what you do. Now, we know you're not going to, right? But I've got to make this video all the same. And I've, I've got to, um, you know, put my hand of friendship out to you. Is that how you'd say that? It's not, is it? I've got to... What's the word? Let me just think. But anyway, uh, I've got to extend, that's it, extend the hand of friendship because... I don't hold grudges me. I know I get wound up on these in these when I do these videos and whatever, but you can understand why. We're fighting the same enemy, except you've joined them now, right? I don't believe you've joined them knowing that they are, though I think privately you've probably got your suspicions. I think you've just found yourself in a, a, a terrible, a terrible predicament and you just don't know what to do. Well, like I've said, you've just got to walk away. That's what you've got to do. All this nonsense, like the screenshot at the front, you know, uh, I don't know what, you know, civilization is going to be in flames and rubble, but Orban's got it spot on. I mean, at least these people are trying to do something, aren't they? Hey, and that's where you should be with them, but you're not. You're in the lunatic fringe now. So don't you dare criticise Salvini, Orban, Le Pen or whoever. At least they're trying to do something. The Le Pen's haven't given up, have they? And said, oh, it's all finished now and... Uh, let's get to the countryside, have more kids and reconquista and all that baloney. They're out there fighting for their country and that's what you should be instead. You, you, you're with the enemy, Nick. You, you, you know you are. You know if I'm wrong. I'll tell you something. This is something I was only saying the other day to a fellow veteran nationalist. You know if someone was making videos about Joe Owens saying I was with the enemy, hobnobbing with the enemy, Jackson, let's say, uh, pushing a, a silly, dead-end, nonsensical approach, and I'm talking rubbish, and people, someone was making videos saying all that, I'd be right on to them. I'd read to find a phone number or an email and say, whoa, 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 what's going on here? You haven't even sent me one message. Not one message for years. Uh, in the video, all the time I've been doing these videos. You haven't sent me one message. Why? Well, exactly. Is you, you, you know you're wrong. You know what you're pushing is, is hogwash and bunkum. As John Tyndall used to say in Spirit, I think he used to say that in every issue. God bless him. Right? So, these men now in the European Parliament, Orban, Salvini, Le Pen, whoever else, Nigel Farage, hopefully, uh, at least they're doing something, aren't they? And also, you know these populist leaders, they're going to be driven over to our, our side, whether or not they like it or not, and I think they do like it. They're going to be driven over to our side, our side as things start to polarise more and more. They will be driven, whether or not they like it or not, and I think they do like it, over to our side, right? So... Let's not knock these people. At least they're trying to do something. What are you doing advocating street theatre? Uh, 
you know, it, it, it's embarrassing, Nick. And also, that silly picture of you with your Knights nice Templar cloak on, I have said, I don't think you realise just how stupid you look and how much the spies are manipulating you, the agents of open or hate searchlights and the government and whoever else, right? I don't think you realise how stupid you look. I keep making these videos because I have to. I do believe in hope. I do believe we will be victorious. But we've got to be united to do this, right? We can't just carry on the way we're going. I have exposed now the enemy hand, right? I've exposed its agents and its modus operandi that's been holding our movement back 40 plus years and is doing the same now to UKIP. Nigel Farage knows what's happened to UKIP. That's so obvious. Stevie Wonder would see through it. Okay, thank you.